something I would like to test is this plugin called Goyo, Joyo, AI based uh, noise reduction plugin. So uh, let's go to the website. They call it a voice separator. It's powered by Supertone AI, reduces ambience, improves the sound of the voice, and reduces reverb. Or maybe I can actually remove the voice from something. We'll see. They, they've got some demos here and stuff, but you can get this right away. Just put in your email address. They'll, they'll send you the plugin. I've got it here in Reaper. Resizable UI? No. Mono and stereo inputs. I guess that's undo and redo. Doesn't have any presets or anything. Oh, it does. Studio, concert hall, outdoor, ghost, and silence. I've got a weird mic, which is a, what is this? A AKG D510B, the dynamic gooseneck mic. Yeah, it needs all the gain. It needs all the gain. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. Turning this plugin on, what do we get here with the default settings? Let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. And let's turn this voice control all the way down. That's, that's pretty effectively turned it down, I guess. Did it leave the ambience? Um, let's crank up the ambience. So it's like boosted the noise. All right, so let's put the voice here at, at center and we'll turn off the reverb and turn off the ambience. Record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated. Um, no Let's get a spectrogram. All right, plug in off. Big spectrogram. Let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. Okay, and turn the plugin on with. Settings to reduce ambience and voice reverb. It's not really like denoising, right? Maybe it's not even denoising. Maybe it's just like reducing reverb. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated bypassed um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. I need another demo because I'm in an acoustically treated room. It's not really going to ambient hand claps or something like that. Maybe that would work. Let's see if, let's see how it fares with a. Uh... Okay, so it's not detecting it as speech. In the little displays below the knob, you can see kind of which area it's detecting. So it doesn't detect it as a voice at all because it's too like white noisy. We had the plugin place it. So let's take my mic, put it in uh put it in a space, put it well no speaker, but we'll put it into a bathroom. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. Okay, so it's it's seeing it as vocal reverb. There's like nothing in the so let's just record nothing in the ambience thing really. There's some sort of general noise in there, so it would be good to turn that down. Um, so let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. Uh, am I in stereo mode? I'm in mono mode. 
So let's just record a demo of this microphone and which sort of widens it. So let's just record a demo of like if it's a voice for a podcaster or something like that, someone record on their phone uh, or just in a lively space, I wouldn't have it in stereo anyways. So I'm giving it a mono feed. Soundly is putting it, probably putting it in stereo. So let's just force that to mono. Uh, just send it the same signal. So let's just record a demo. Uh, putting it in stereo like super widens it, which is, that, that just seems wrong. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. Mono mode processes the left and right channels of the incoming audio together and outputs a mono signal. Stereo mode processes the left and right channels of the incoming audio separately and outputs a stereo signal. Depending on the nature of the audio you work with, mono mode may result in more natural sounding voice, while stereo mode may be better at preserving the spatia spatiality of the audio. Stereo mode uses substantially more CPU resources than mono mode. Maybe just in Reaper it, it behaves funny because it was definitely giving a stereo widening effect. Maybe that's useful somewhere. No hidden settings or anything like that. So that's in a bathroom. Let's try a uh, kitchen. So let's just record a demo of this that's bypassed. microphone and see if this AI generated. Let's take my voice away. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. Okay, so I don't have the latest version of Isotope RX and I don't have the Dialog Isolate plugin, but this has been helpful from time to time in the past. Let's start this off at zero reduction. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. So this is Isotope's non AI based um, D reverb thing, which is a multi-band expander or something. And it works pretty well. So let's just record a demo of this but it still has lots of artifacts and so this one so let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this ai this one doesn't improve the sound of the voice you can adjust the balance of it like increase the volume of it compared to the reverb but at a hundred percent no reverb on this let's turn the ambience down so let's just record a demo of this it'll bypass it and see if this ai generated it's doing a pretty good job of removing this this fake reverb, just no effort here. So if we just took the default settings with everything at zero and then hit solo on the voice. So let's just record a demo of an out of solo microphone and see if this AI generated. Uh, so here's the so just isotope one again of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. So here's the Delta solo of, of the D-Reaver plugin. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and see if this AI generated uh, at 100, like 20 dB reduction. So let's just record a demo of this Let's max it out every setting. See if this AI generated um, noise reduction plugin actually works better. It's it's kind of choppy and stuff. Works better. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and. We should see if that um, if this is all at flat. So let's just record a demo of this microphone and see. It does seem to do something even when it's like off works better works better so let's just record a demo of this which maybe is is just the um what do you call it delay compensation not quite working right if it's fft based it's splitting the signal into thousands of separate bands and then manipulating each band individually. Sounds like a walkie talkie without the static. 
yeah, I think it's just that that this vintage mic that I'm using for the demo. So I've got the 635A. Um, I'm gonna plug that in. Check, 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 check. This is a test of the Electrovoice omnidirectional dynamic microphone at an arm's distance away, and we're gonna try to reduce some room ambience in this recording. We are professionals here. I'm gonna boost it a bit. This is a test of the Electrovoice omnidirectional dynamic microphone at an arm's distance away, and we're gonna try to reduce. It's not really picking up a lot of. I, I've I've boosted everything that's not voice. I think it does a pretty good job of isolating it. Test of the Electro Voice omnidirectional dynamic microphone at an arm's distance away, and we're going to try to reduce some room ambience in this recording. Seems useful for voices specifically, not useful for percussion recording for drums, um, probably not for guitars and things like that. Hopefully it's good for a lot more uses than that. So this is sort of like a proof of concept, uh, I think, for their their Supertone AI stuff. They've listed a bunch of other applications of it. This seems like it's worth downloading. Um, I'm liking it more for D-Reverb than Isotope RX9 D-Reverb. Haven't tried RX10 D-Reverb. And I don't really have anything else for that. This is a test of the Electrovoice omnidirectional dynamic microphone at an arm's distance away. And we're going to try to reduce some room ambience in this recording. Let's do a cave. This is a test of the Electrovoice omnidirectional dynamic microphone at an arm's distance away. And we're going to try to reduce some room ambience in this recording. This is a test of the Electrovoice omnidirectional dynamic microphone at an arm. Yeah, so it struggles with a cave, obviously. Public bathroom. This is a test of the Electrovoice omnidirectional dynamic microphone at an arm's distance away. And we're going to try to reduce some room ambience in this recording. It's really good for free. It's really good for like a semi real time process, not like a rendered thing like the the RX standalone. In a super unideal situation, it's it's not going to save the day. It might reduce the need of doing overdubs, ADR. It's worth checking out for sure.